here I have a log I found. So I'll kneel down. I'll roll the log towards me gently. And underneath the log, we can look for new friends. As you can see, I should have put my hair up, so I have to hold it back. So I highly recommend bringing a hair tie. But we're looking under the log, on the dirt, and on the underside of the log for salamanders, millipedes, fungi. I didn't find anything under this log, so I'm just going to gently roll it back where I found it. And we're done. Hi, it's Tamaris Briscoe, Fungal Love, here at Giacomini Open Space Preserve in Marin County. And I'm here with my husband Grant and my good dog Holly. And I am going to look and see what's under this log. Turn it very gently. And oh! have a salamander right down here it's a little baby Encetina salamander it's very tiny it's not a hatchling they're much smaller when they first come out of the egg this one has been around for a while but uh, yep so now we're gonna turn the log very gently back into place And kind of tuck it in a little bit around the edges. That'll keep it from getting too dry. So here we have a log that's in great shape to flip. So I'm going to roll it towards me. And look on the dirt and the leaf litter for any friends. So far I don't see anything. And we'll look on the underside of the log as well. So, so far, maybe a little fungi, but no animals. But we do have a few snails here. And I'm done, so I'm going to gently roll it back where it was. And here we have another very good log. Oh, it's got some moss on it, and you can see a little bit of a slime trail there. So we'll take a look and see who's under here. Oh. It's a little California slender salamander with a couple of beetle friends. Let's see if we can find anybody else. Just very gently roll her back and we're all good. Here we have another great log to flip over. So if we look at the top, it does look like this used to be a slime mold, but it rained recently, so it's hard to tell. I'm going to roll it, however, I see some moss on the bottom. So perhaps this log used to be flipped the other way at some point and it got rolled over. I don't see anything underneath, so I'm going to roll it back and leave it as I found it. We can also roll over small logs. You can see I put my foot here to show the size, but if we roll it over, we found a little isopod friend. And of course, we'll put it back as we found it. This log uh, is another good one to flip. It's large, but I flipped it before, so I know I can do it. I'm going to roll it over, get it stable, and look to see what we have. So, we do have a few slender salamanders, which I usually find under this log. They're very cute. 
I'm pointing at them just to enhance the cuteness. And we see a beetle and an isopod as well. Going back for the slenders. They're very cute. Look underneath the log, see some fungi. And we'll walk over to one of the other sides to see if we see anything else. See a little isopod, which I'm going to move, move a leaf just to get a better look at it. There we go. See some termite activity, some more fungi. We're done with this log, so we're going to roll it over. However, since those slenders moved a bit, and this is a heavy log, I'm going to move them outside of the log, just so I don't crush them. So I'm going to gently pick them up, and they're very cute. They're tiny little legs. Just set them aside. And trying to go this one, but it seems to go into our burrow, so I'll let it be. The other one's still over there. I'm going to gently roll it down. And I'm going to move the slender back closer to their lock. They're very cute. They'll crawl back, crawl back quickly. This log isn't the best choice for flipping over. As you can see, it's very decomposed, so I can't really roll it well without completely breaking it apart. So if you found a log like this, I would suggest not rolling it and looking for a different one. Here's another log that looks okay at first, but as you start to try and roll it, it's too decompose to roll effectively without completely destroying it. I would also recommend looking for another log. And here is an example of a log that I'm not going to turn. These both look very promising, but all around them. This is poison oak. And it's leafing out right now, so it's a lot easier to see than usual, but it stands up on these really, really tall stalks like this. And the leaves can look like this, but they can also look a lot of different ways. So if you see something with sets of three leaves at the top of what looks like the devil's fingers reaching up from the ground, you should keep your distance because that's probably going to be poison oak. We'll just let these logs stay where they are. Here we have an example of logs that aren't rotten severely, but they're definitely too big to flip, especially because some of them are trapped underneath a tree. I would recommend finding another log to flip. Here's one more example of one that's not great to flip. It's definitely too big. However, I obviously spotted some fungi, which appears to be jelly fungus, on it. A nice bonus. Here we have a banana slug, which are common in the California Bay Area, as well as other places along the west coast. So you can see they're large. I put my hand next to it to give you a size. And they're very good slugs. If you ever find one, it is required by law that you tell them how much you love them. Showing how large they are. You can see the different structures. This one is not shy at all. I'm definitely just filming this because I love them so much. 
this one I found actually along a path. While I do commonly find them along logs, this one is on the path which I can see in the video. I'm on the trail, so if you're out walking around, be sure to watch where you step so you don't step on a banana slug or another animal. Much love to banana slugs. You don't have to look at large logs. Flat pieces of wood like this are great for finding salamanders. I'm showing off how flat it is. Under this one I did not find any salamanders, but they are great areas to check for salamander friends. Some fungi though. When putting these down, they're pretty lightweight and there's a lot of airspace underneath, so I don't worry about crushing them like I do with the large heavy logs. And sometimes I find really cool stuff under little pieces of wood, like this right here. It's been burnt. And there we go. Another slender salamander. And when they're coiled up like this, it's a defensive thing. And if you touch or bother them, they might spring away. They'll, they'll uncoil explosively and spring away so that you won't eat them. 